the Frames Per Second podcast. Bye, 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 bye. What's going on? It's your boy Nick. I'm here with Miss Naturally Nate. Hello. Modest Media. What's up, man? Pretty good. Kenneth Vienge. Hola. Spike Blue of the On Deck TV podcast and another week in the books. How you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. And Mike C Town. And you're now tuning into the Frames for Second podcast. And in this episode, we are beginning our weekly recaps of the new well, it's not a new show. It's actually a well, continuation of <laughs> a, a continuation show. of a show that we I didn't even know it was gonna get a second season until probably no, they said it. They said it. Yeah. No, I'm saying like, but it, at first they marketed it as a mini series, mm. but then they, oh, really? I think it got popular and they made it a second mm. season. Um, of the Disney Plus original series coming from Marvel Studios titled Loki, with this recap being dedicated to episode one of the second season titled, um, what was the nigga's name? I know it's Ob Orsbors. Or- oh, Orsbors. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Orsbors. Overall thoughts on this episode or the beginning of this second season. Um, so I enjoyed Loki's first season, um, especially once we got to the ending. So I was really interested to see how this started. Um, I'm lukewarm. It's like, it wasn't like, oh God, yes. But it was just enough to make me want to see the episode. I'm lukewarm on it right now. Okay. So we'll see. What about you? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, no. I, didn't, I wouldn't mean to look at you. I was just kind of <laughs> dazed. I wasn't even looking at you, actually. I was just kind of you know, zoned out. But um, I think I'm kind of with her because I actually enjoyed the first season as well. But I don't know. I started having a little bit of concern. I forgot at what point I did. But I started having some concern about how this season would go. And so, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to wait and see. Because I'm a little, I'm a little w- lukewarm on it as well. Like, uh, you know, some things that was kind of cool. I do like the mystery of it, but some stuff was just a little much for me in this one. But I think overall, I still got, I still have a little hope for, that this will be a, you know, a successful series. We'll see. What about you, Ken? Um, I really wish I had time to go back and watch the first season. Um, so I was kind of thrown in and trying to catch up while I'm watching it. To um to kind of um get back into what we were where we were, and um and so I think that was a a bit disconnect for me. Mm. Um, I I think eventually I'll, I'll adjust to where we are because I know it's a different type of storytelling, it's a different type of pacing, mm-hmm. it's very very dialogue heavy. So um so I have to readjust to that. So for the most part, it was just like all right, just you know. Here's where we were to a certain degree. Here's where we are now. Here's to a certain slight uh, where we're going. So um, it was very much an intro to uh, Loki, and um, I just really didn't like what was supposed to be the cliffhanger. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What about you, Lou? I don't think I don't know if we had you on a review for no, season no. one. I I, je- I was able to to rewatch the first season this week. So it kind of did mesh together that second episode. I like Rod appreciate the mystery of it, trying to figure out the overall thing of what's going on. Um, but yeah, I was fresh. I had fresh eyes, so it it, it kind of made a lot of sense. Mm. The second episode. Mm-hmm. Did you enjoy this episode? Yeah, I did. Okay, like mm-hmm. you ain't get up out of there this early. <laughs> it was your ass beyond that. <laughs> what about you, Mike? <clears throat> um, I did go back and rewatch season one because I couldn't remember any of it because I didn't mm-hmm. like it. I liked the show way more second viewing. I'm still not a fan, hmm. but I liked it more the second viewing. That's right, because um, you really didn't like it, if, I'm, if I recall. Yeah, no, I didn't like yeah, it yeah, at yeah, all. Yeah. I don't mm. like all the time stuff. Right. But then when I went back and rewatched it, I was like, okay, I guess it's not really time mm. stuff. It is time stuff, but it's not technically time travel, so I think I'm okay. And then they fucking do time travel in this <laughs> shit. And I was like, okay. That was the thing that, I, that, that shocked me, because even though it's the TVA, it still shocked me how they went about, like it's heavily time focused now. I think they did a good job with it. I think it was interesting how they made the time travel, but it, I, nah, it, it took me out. And this episode wasn't very interesting, honestly. What really? Going on? Nah, not a lot yeah. happened. And it just, we all knew that he was gonna end up making it back to this time. And it was just like, y'all are taking a long ass time to, Y'all are take, but it's it's no forever it's taking. It's taking a minute. For nothing. Y'all. I can't even say that. Forever to do yeah, nothing. you're taking forever to do nothing. That's a good way to put it. Got gotcha. you. Gotcha. <clears throat> I like this episode. Um, I'm hoping that we, with this being like the 
catch up episode we're gonna get you they pretty much went over a lot of stuff that was in season one and mm -hmm. like all the stuff that you kind of needed to know as you're going moving forward so maybe things will kick up more um the thing that i was also just watching is like how much jonathan majors is like as at least his mm -hmm. essence mm -hmm. and is, is is heavily influenced on this second season so <laughs> yeah, over here playing you, need, you need to get that <laughs> <laughs> this just leveled up in Mario, um, but yeah, I'm just I'm looking like damn, they like they couldn't get away from the Jonathan that, Major stuff. That's what yeah. was the first thing I said. Seen his when big I ass face. <laughs> that, that old wide <laughs> nose in the screen, you, bro. bro. That's what I was, I was thinking of. My mic. His like, nose bro. popped up first, bro. Yeah. As soon as I first saw that, I was <laughs> like, that fight was staged because <laughs> they have invested way too mm -hmm. much money Back. in this. Nigga, Are you still mm -hmm. your stage? I still think you're staying. Like this, but, um, I, again, I, it made me remind. It reminded me like how much Disney is riding on Jonathan mm -hmm. Majors to move him on forward in a one of their biggest franchise. It's their big three. One of the big three, Star Wars, Disney, and, and Marvel. Like that's, he's a third of that now. It's all the three. It's only three. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's like, I'm just saying, yeah, like, that's a key piece to have, like a nigga like this in there. Yeah, and yeah, that was a, yeah. Limbo. <coughs> wow. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> so he's, he's in limbo. Well, I was going to say, I don't think I understood, like, how he, act, like, did he actually do what he was supposed to do or did he just get zapped? I don't, so what, it just didn't seem like, yeah, something was lost in translation of what was supposed to happen and what we actually saw happen. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. I think somebody did, some, well, somebody pruned him. Mm-hmm. But I, I think that's what we saw. We I, saw thought she nah, was, I thought somebody, she was somebody came from behind. Yeah. He was looking at Sylvie. Uh, yeah, I thought Sylvie may have had it and still. <laughs> she was holding the door like this, and then somebody pruned him from behind. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I guess we'll find out who that was. But <laughs> my my issue was I got the process. Like you, got, <laughs> oh my god, I didn't know. Y'all are it's fucking stupid. It's Lou. Man. I was like, <laughs> y'all are fucking stupid. <laughs> But you were doing it like hey, Jesus Christ. Christ. And that face he made was Oh Jesus Christ. But this ain't a curiosity of like I don't know, but I'm you know looking forward to finding out. It's like overload. Kinda. Yeah. It's like overload. Like I feel like they had a really good pacing the first season. This season it's like they just really doubling down on this whole it's like very chaotic right now. Mm -hmm. But it kind of was the first season too. I remember mm -hmm. that's why we didn't like it. So I, I liked think, it though. Well, okay, I think that's part of why it was taking me a minute huh. to get into it. And I think Same. the like the last two episodes, once they especially once they brought Kang in, kind of tied it all together. So I'm assuming, I think that's why I'm lukewarm because I'm assuming they're kind of doing the same thing. They're putting all this shit out there mm -hmm. and you're going to follow through the season for it to all kind of come that together at the end, which I mean, okay, I kind of enjoyed it last time, but the process of getting there week to week can be very cumbersome. Yeah. 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 Season two is definitely like, feel like a repeat. Well, I think if you, you're not jumping on board, and being able to pick up where you left off is definitely for people that have been following the story for the most part. Mm -hmm. And um, so, and, and will it be interesting enough for anybody that just, oh, let me see what this is to go back and rewatch. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, th I think I'm with you, Nay. Like, I think, you know, it definitely was a good, like, setup to kind of get you ready for what's to come. I think it was five episodes left. So, um, oh, okay. Yeah, so, I, didn't, I didn't know the, si the first season was only six. Mm -hmm. I thought it was longer than that. <laughs> All right, those are our thoughts on uh, this episode of Loki. Please let us know what you guys think. FPS Podcast is a Reddit thread. That's also our handle for IG and Twitter. And we'll catch you on the next review. We out. Peace. Bye. Peace.